So a while ago, I started a series on poultry vaccination with the hope that I will be able to correct some of the major errors, the key errors that people commit in poultry vaccination that actually lead to most of the problems that we'll find in the area of poultry diseases. So in today's video, I'm going to be addressing the issue of the quantity of water you need to use to dilute your vaccine for every age of chickens. Just so you know, I'll also be showing you how to divide your vaccine in case you have bought maybe 1000 doses and you only have 700 birds. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to also divide the vaccine and to be on the safe side. So we're not going to be using this kind of uh, syringe to vaccinate. Now we are going to be focusing on oral vaccine and we are using water. So even though you understand that on day 6 or 7 you need to give your birds Lasota or Gumboro, on day 10 you need to give them the other and on day 21 you know you understand the vaccine schedule but sometimes people miss major steps in the process of vaccination so i'm just going to be showing you right now the dosage the volume of water you need to use in administering your vaccine to your chicks so if you are between six and seven days you can actually calculate 10 ml of water per chick maybe you are giving the lasota vaccine which is addressing Newcastle disease. If you are giving that first, you use that volume of water per chick. And if you are also giving Gumboro first, you use the same volume of water per chick. But at the second week, when they are about 14 days old, you want to double that dosage. And when constituting the vaccine, you want to use the volume of water that the chicks will be able to finish within one hour to say maximum of one hour, 30 minutes or in the extreme two hours. So I've set the quantity of water you need to use for week one and week two, that is 10 mil per chick at week one and 20 mil per chick at week two. There's another way to actually know exactly how much water you would need. And that method is what I'm gonna be showing you right now. So to know the volume of water you'll be needing for your chick's vaccination, the day before you'll be administering the vaccine, here's what to do. For example, let's say tomorrow we're gonna to be vaccinating these birds today that is this morning as i get to the farm what i'll do is i'll take some volume of water i'll make sure they are fed they have feed already so i'll take some volume of water that i know they cannot finish in even say two to three hours i'll take that volume of water and i'll serve it to the birds normally on the day you are vaccinating your chicks you want to make sure that you give them more drinkers than they actually need so i'll get that volume of water let's say this is the volume of water I know they can't finish in two, three hours. I'll get it and then serve it to the birds. But before giving it to them, I'll make sure that I know the exact volume of water that I'm giving to them. So after one and a half hours, I will draw the water and then measure whatever is left. So that already gives me an idea of what volume of water they can consume in the space of one hour, 30 minutes. So you can use that perfect idea to actually gauge or judge the volume of water they'll be consuming, say in one hour or in one hour, 30 minutes. And just before I tell you how to divide the volume of vaccine that you have, in case you have bought more doses than the number of beds that you have, in case you're watching this channel for the first time or you're yet to subscribe to the channel, this is DIY Agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So these valuable tips and even much more are what you can gain if you are part of this community. So to do yourself that good and just hit that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell so that you get notified whenever there's a new video. So let's say I've got 1,000 doses of vaccine. Maybe let's say it's last. So that is actually uh, the vaccine I got for my dogs and I did not use because I actually messed up with the cold chain. So let's say you have 1,000 doses of uh, Lasota vaccine and you have just 700 birds that you want to vaccinate. So one way to do it is to get uh, a small quantity of water, maybe one liter of water or even 100 ml of water. You must have added your skimmed milk and allowed it to settle for about 10 minutes for the reaction to occur. And then you can open the vial under the water, like I said in the last vaccination video, underneath of the water, you open it, or you use a syringe to extract whatever content you have there, and then you press underneath the water, and uh, you allow it to set it for, let's just say, one minute, you turn it gently to ensure that the vaccine is well mixed with the entire water, and then you take out seven parts out of 10 parts. 
So if you have one liter, you're gonna to have to take out 700 mils or 70 CL. And the remaining 30 CL, you just discard because that is the excess that you have. And if it is 100 mils of water, you just take 70 mils and you discard the remaining 30 mils. So in that way, you have only used the doses of vaccine that you require for the 700 breasts that you have. You can do that with pretty much any number of beds that you have as long as the doses of the vaccine is in excess of the number of beds that you have and make sure that when you are discarding whatever is left you put it in a place that it will never get out preferably before you even throw it away maybe inside a pit or underneath the ground you want to pour disinfectant solution to destroy the virus in the vaccine so i hope that this is helpful if it is give us a thumbs up and don't forget to like and share the video. If you're here to subscribe, please click that subscribe button and ensure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when there's a new video. Thank you and see you in the next one.